Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Night Football. Today, we are talking about how the Indianapolis Colts win the 2024 NFL Draft. Let's get straight into this thing and waste no time at all. Guys, the Colts did a 15 on this draft board, and the options are there. For their needs, let me show you. Let me show you. For their needs, it says they need a wideout and DBs, and that's it. I don't believe that. There's more needs on the table, of course. See, they just said those two positions. I don't believe it whatsoever. So let's see how the board falls to us. I don't see the Colts trading up in this draft, but let's see what goes on here. We got, okay, okay, let's, let's take a pause real quick. Let's take a pause. We got Caleb, we got May, Neighbors, Harrison, Odunze, Daniels, Bowers, Alt, Verse, and then we are at Dallas Tournament 10. So Quinion is on the board, and that'd be pretty sweet if we got him. Let's see what happens here. McCarthy, Latu, Arnold, one pick away from getting the guy I wanted. That is okay. We're well, going to fill one of our biggest needs right here. Not all of our needs, but two, one of our biggest needs right here, wide receiver or DB. Which way do we go? In the DB room, let's take a peek, just so you all know what's on the board. We got Cooper DeGene, Nate Wiggins, and Kool-Aid. Those are the biggest three, obviously, on the board for DBs. For wide receiver, it's Brian Thomas or maybe Adonai Mitchell if you really like the guy, but I think it's Brian Thomas or Bust right there at 15 overall. With all that being said, I think Cooper DeGene is the way to go. This is a guy that when the draft process started, he's supposed to be like a top 15 pick regardless, and he's just slid down draft boards, and I'm not... Here, yeah, take a look at this. Like, way back in uh, January, this guy's getting taken 9, 12, 17, and now he's fallen as far as like the back of the first, which I find crazy personally so let's take cooper to gene right here he'll be a very good db on our team let's see you guys at pick 46 overall colts fans we are back on the clock and lucky for us we need a wide receiver and we got a wide receiver we got plenty of talent here on the board let's review let's take a peek at dbs just so y'all could see what's left there for cornerback and safety we got javon bullard hicks jackson all solid players right there but a wide out tons of talent we got troy franklin roman ricky burton keon polk xavier the list goes on and on and on who do we want here? I think, because I'm picking, I'm pretending I'm the GM today, not what they would pick actually, what I would pick personally. To make this team best as I could possibly make it, I'm either going to go Troy, Keon, or Xavier. I like Worthy too. I do like Worthy a lot. He's probably my fourth. But I'm going to go with Xavier Leggett. I think he's a great player. will absolutely kill it on the Colts. Let's get Anthony Richardson a brand new weapon in this offense. Welcome, Xavier. You are an Indianapolis Colt. I'll see you guys at pick 82 overall. We are back on the clock in the third round. We got to make this pick count because after this, we are in the 100 range. We are not in the top 100 anymore, so we got to make this one count. Let's look at the board. Lots of talent here. We got Blake Fisher, Murphy, all great players. Corley, interesting. Very nice on the board. Trey Benson's a stud. We already got a running back, though. We know that. Kitchens. Uh... I like Renardo Green. I like him a lot. And we can for sure use him. We need more DBs in that room. Let's go with another cornerback right here. Double dip into the position. Renardo Green is a great cornerback at a Florida State, and he'll help us a ton. We are back on the clock in the fourth round. It is officially day three. And from now on, we have to understand that we're not going to fill a need with the pick. Luckily, we've addressed both our needs on the board, but we're just taking the best player overall. So let's scan the board, look for the talent, and address it immediately. So, Tommy... Looking like good value right here. Kate Stover, very good value as well. I like him a lot. What else do we got? Uh, we got Leonard. We got Trevor. Elijah Jones. Cooper Beebe is awesome. I love Cooper Beebe. Malik Washington. Where do we go here? I'm going to go with kind of a sleeper pick. No one loves Kate Stover, but I do a lot. I like this tight end a ton. He's got a great name first off, and he's just a well-rounded athlete and can truly do it all. Kate Stover, we definitely need another tight end or two in this roster. Welcome to the team. You are a Colt. 151, and we need to find the best talent on the board for these remaining three picks. Let's keep looking. Josh, Caesar, Kalen King. Oh, Logan Lee. I like Logan Lee a lot out of Iowa. Stud of a D lineman right there. What else we got? Michael. Uh, Taj, Taj is a pretty special player. That would be kind of cool on the Colts, I ain't gonna lie. Zach Zinter, love Zach Zinter. Let's go with, I like Logan Lee a lot. You can never have enough D linemen on that line. We need the pass rushers ready to go when it's third down. Half of them are tired, half of them are ready to go because we got extra on the sideline. Welcome, Logan Lee. You are a Colt. Let's do this thing. Let's see you guys at the next pick on the clock. Team, we are back on the board, and who do you want to take? We got two picks left, a sixth and a seventh rounder. We're taking shots in the dark, throwing darts in the dartboard. Who is going to hit? Who can be developed into a good player over a long period of time? So let's look at wideout because I think there's some good players left here. There it is, Anthony Gold. I'm going to take Anthony Gold here. He is 5'8", just a little bit shorter, but we got a big receiver on the outside. We got Pittman. That role is filled. Anthony Gold, you can do your thing and flourish in this offense. For our final pick of our 2024 NFL Draft, who are we taking here? We got Isaiah Davis. We don't need that. Dominique. 
might be Dominique. I like him a lot. Jacobs, Roberts, Jennings, Franklin. Let's look at this board. Sorry, I'm scrolling down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just want to check it out. Kenny Logan, like him. Let's go with... I'm going to go with Dominique Hampton, the 6'3 safety out of Washington. Let's get this guy on our roster, and hopefully he develops into something special and is an impact player for our special teams. Indianapolis fans, this is my mock draft. So, in the first round, we took Cooper DeGene. We need the help at corner, and we can move him around to safety as well. This guy can do it all. Xavier Leggett, he's not going to be your starter on day one, but this guy can truly flourish into something special. He's got so much potential. The ceiling is truly uncapped. And the third round, we got Renardo Green. We double-dipped the cornerback position. I think it's plenty worth it. I think Renardo Green has a ton of talent, and he can make it happen. In the fourth round, I got Cade Stover. Love him as a prospect. Then we got Logan Lee in the fifth, Anthony Gold in the sixth, and then Dominique Hampton in the seventh. Colts fans, this is my mock draft. What would you change? Drop it below. Did you like the Cooper DeGene pick? Did you like Xavier Leggett? What about Renardo Green in the third with the double dip in the cornerbacks? What would you change? Would you trade up? Would you trade down? Drop it all below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. If you enjoyed this kind of content, this seven round mock draft I'm doing per team, I'm making one for every single team in the NFL. So go ahead and subscribe down below if you like these kind of videos. And if you subscribed and if you like the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon, not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip, tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by, and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Thank you guys for spending your time with me on this seven-round mock draft. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Love you all. Have the best day. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God Tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God Tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of Bellas.